we've all just managed to get over Evil Genius, but Netflix is already serving up our next true crime binge watch. The trailer for new documentary The Staircase has dropped, and will follow the case of Michael Peterson, whose wife Kathleen died in 2001 after allegedly falling down the stairs. The Staircase is the sequel to Jean Xavier de Lestrade's 2004 French miniseries The Staircase also known as Soupçons, or Suspicions, which followed Peterson's story from his arrest for his wife's murder to the verdict. And this new documentary will take a look at Peterson after he was freed from jail when it was revealed that the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation gave misleading information during the case and trial. But before you watch The Staircase, you may want to brush up on what happened before Peterson's release, and the bizarre theories that surround Kathleen's death. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video warning, spoilers for Netflix's The Staircase Ahead. On 9 December 2001, novelist Michael Peterson called 911, telling an operator that he had found his wife Kathleen unconscious at the foot of their staircase. He claimed he had been outside by the pool at their home in Durham, North Carolina, and came inside to find his wife at 2.30 a.m. Kathleen died while Michael was on the phone, he maintained she must have lost her footing after mixing alcohol and Valium. However, an autopsy found that the wounds on Kathleen's head were consistent with blows from a blunt instrument, and police said it would have taken her 90 minutes to 2 hours after her injuries to die from blood loss. Peterson, the only other person at the residence, was arrested and charged with his wife's murder. Michael and Kathleen's children stood by him during the trial as he pleaded not guilty. During the trial, it was suggested by the prosecution that the lacerations on Kathleen's head were made by blows with a fireplace poker, which was a gift from Kathleen's sister but was missing from the house during the initial investigation. Michael's bisexuality was also a focus of the trial, with the prosecution claiming that Kathleen discovered his alleged secret gay life and affairs with a man, leading to an argument which resulted in her death. The defense argued this, claiming Kathleen accepted Michael's bisexuality and that they were happy in their marriage. Michael was then linked to the death of another woman, Elizabeth Ratliff, a friend of the Petersons who died in 1985 in Germany. Ratliff was found dead at the bottom of her staircase, the night after she and her daughters had dinner with the Petersons. Michael was the last known person to see her alive. An autopsy concluded that, Ratliff died after suffering an intracerebral hemorrhage, with the prosecution suggesting Michael got an idea of how to fake Kathleen's death from the incident. In October 2003, Peterson was found guilty of Kathleen's murder by a jury and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Peterson's Road to Freedom will be shown in the Netflix documentary, but perhaps the oddest detail of Kathleen's death is the so-called Owl Theory. T. Lawrence Pollard, an attorney who was a neighbor of the Petersons, suggested to Paulus in 2009 that Kathleen had been attacked by an owl outside, fallen after running into the house and was knocked unconscious after hitting her head on the stairs. Pollard came up with this theory after reading the evidence list and discovering microscopic owl feathers were found in Kathleen's hair. Despite the doctor who conducted Kathleen's autopsy saying it was unlikely a bird could inflict the wounds found on her head, there was some interest in this theory, with supporters claiming the wounds were consistent with talons and that a number of owl attacks had taken place in the area. Staircase begins streaming on Netflix on the 8th of June. If you've got a story, video or pictures get in touch with the Metro.co.uk entertainment team by emailing us celebtips at Metro.co.uk, calling 020-3615-2145 or by visiting our Submit Stuff page, we'd love to hear from you. 
More, the twisted true story behind Netflix's new crime documentary Evil Genius More, clear your schedules, Love Island's start date is confirmed.